Hi. Sorry for the bad sound. Um, I'll do this real quick. I wrote a um, device called Automat that serves to simplify your life a little bit with, when it comes to like uh, automations and Ableton. Um, obviously, sometimes they're not avoidable, but um, I was kind of fed up with them, especially if it comes to like um, launching a new part of a song and just changing some settings rapidly of whatever device or something. So this thing basically works with eight presets for now, each seven parameters. Um, and you recall these presets by naming your clips. Um, you map them first. I'll just take anything for now, I don't know. Um, let's see, is this... Oh, and you can map them to, to, uh, to parameters not only within your track, but also to other tracks and stuff. Um, okay. So, um, the nifty thing is it, it uh, incorporates or, or uh, takes the value that was set on the pot before um, and sets this as its first value. I didn't like that in some automation tools, uh, uh, mapping tools. Um, you've got your first first setup here, you can copy it to the next one, recall this one, change some things, whatever. I'm changing the reverb. I don't know, copy it again. And you see how um, I only you see how I only hear the preset that I've co currently cho chosen, so I'm basically able to fine-tune everything the way I like it, and then I can recall it by my clips. Like one, obviously recalls preset one, two, preset two, three, preset three. You can give your tracks any name, um, you just have to... Uh, type the number uh, of your preset at the beginning. So now this will sound strange because it hears nothing. So we can go back. There, okay. Um, you can randomize. You can delete. And as mentioned, copy. Okay, I guess that's it. Oh, and uh, um, it works. You can, you can like switch the track and stuff. And it doesn't 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 stop working. I, I had the feeling that some Max patches had that problem. 